Hey everybody, Winstreak here. We got a question today from Rast. Uh, they are asking us if it's possible to add BB tags to style text on buttons. Honestly, I am not sure that that is a feature that Construct allows or has enabled. Um, maybe? Uh, early on, I kind of gave up on Construct's buttons. I didn't like them, so I went about making my own. And I'll walk you through that, and those ones you will be able to. Um, so without further ado, we'll hop into a new page, and I am gonna drag. Actually, I'm just get rid of that. Um, gonna drag uh, the image for my button that I made, and throw it on here, and break it down. It's just a button. You can have any design you want, and then it has two animations: one up, one down, or one unpressed and one pressed and then you will want to add an image point so the origin you want to be centered that way when it goes to down animation it doesn't move the object it just looks like it's pressed down and then you'll have the other image and that one will drop downwards with it and we will attach text to that secondary image that way it moves with the button so we'll go ahead and throw text on here and um, might as well th contain this with the button because that's the button's text and we're just gonna put that there and then we'll throw center center and I'll have to realign it we want this origin to be centered because all of our images have center origins and that way when we pin it to it we can pin it towards the center and it will line up so we have that text I'm gonna throw a secondary text in here and this will just show us when we click on the button mm, excuse me and uh, we will want mouse that way we can interact with the button and then that should be it. So let's hop into the code and on start of layout, start of layout, we will go ahead and set text of our button to say push me. And we're going to set text of the secondary text to say nothing. And we will also pin, which we need to set up the pin. So click on the text, go to behaviors, and find pin. And we will, on start of layout, pin text one. That was our button text. And we will pin that to an image point. We want image point one, because that was the secondary one we made. And we're going to do it to our button. And. Now we want some mouse click action on object clicked on our button. And we can just add an extra check here to verify button is currently playing up. AKA the button button is not pushed yet. And then we will go ahead and set animation to down. And that's it for that first one. And now we'll check to see if uh, we. So we want to make sure when we release the button, we're still over top. If we go off of it and we release, we don't want the button to actually click. That's how normal buttons work. So uh, we'll grab another mouse. And on release, on button release, and then we'll add an extra check is cursor over our button still. and one more check and we want to make sure it is currently playing down we don't want to click somewhere else go over it, release and have it work if the button was up the whole time Oops, I set down and from there we will go ahead and set button back to up 
because once you click it, obviously the button goes back, and then we'll set text two to button has been pushed. <coughs> that way we can see it's been pushed. And then we're going to do one more check kind of like this. Um, we'll just make it. And then this one will release the button if you scroll off of it. So mouse cursor over object button and we're going to invert that. So if we're no longer over the button and that button is playing the up anim or the down animation, then we'll just set it to up. So I'm just going to grab all my old code there and throw it in there. Uh, clicking, if I scroll off it, it brings it back up, nothing happens. And click and release while on it, button has been pushed. And you can also, actually that's it, that should do everything for you. And then obviously you wanted the uh, BB code to be added. Uh, now we're in the text here, so it's just normal button, or it's just normal text, so it can all be added inside the code here. So we can bold this and color. And I guess I should end these, even though it shouldn't matter since it's the end of the text. But <laughs> And you can see there you have your code and what I do wrong for color. Um, Uh, there we go. Didn't like the space. But that should uh, help you out there. Uh, it takes a little more time, but I think you can get a lot more out of your own buttons and uh, Construct 3 buttons. And let me know what you think. Have a good one.